So certain types of medication that cause drowsiness and slow brain activity may worsen sleep apnea symptoms. Some of those are benzodiazepines. These are typically prescribed to treat generalized anxiety disorder and insomnia or to prevent seizures. Barbiturates, these are also prescribed to prevent seizures. Antihistamines are used to treat drug or to treat allergies. Antihistamines with side effects of drowsiness can impact sleep apnea. Antidepressants, which may be described to treat depression, anxiety, insomnia, and chronic pain. Sleep apnea can be worsened by antidepressants that have sedating effects. Opiates that are used for pain treatment. Another support, wear an oral appliance. Oral appliances can reduce snoring and relieve sleep, sleep apnea. In mild cases, an oral appliance is a device that's worn in the mouth to move the jaw forward and to prevent the airway from being blocked during sleep. Try mouth exercises. Mouth exercises have been shown to reduce symptoms of sleep apnea, including snoring. The purpose of mouth exercises is to improve the muscles in the airway and decrease snoring. Repetitive muscle training can involve the tongue, facial, and airway muscles and lips. Other exercises may focus on breathing through the nose rather than the mouth to reduce stopped breathing events. Use a humidifier. For some people with sleep apnea, a humidifier in the bedroom may reduce dryness experienced while breathing at night. Humidifiers increase the moisture in the air, which decrease the risk of dry air irritating the airway or the nose. Dry air can potentially worsen sleep apnea symptoms. Acupuncture. Although some people with sleep apnea may find acupuncture helpful in treating their symptoms, high quality research still needs to be conducted to determine if it really is a safe and effective treatment. But many people have found that it helps. And additionally, there are also things that you can do to support your respiratory system. Um, and oddly enough, some of the things that I mentioned earlier in the week in the video that we're talking about supporting our respiratory system to stay healthy are going to do that as well. So looking at some uh, soothing, supporting things that you could do and use are things like, and remembering also that a, an essential oil diffuser will act as a humidifier, would be peppermint oil, lavender oil, and eucalyptus oil. And so I mentioned this amazing blend that everybody needs to have in their house anyways this time of year. If you're trying to breathe easy and keep your airways healthy and your immune system feeling amazing, RC. So RC actually has in it myrtle, marjoram, pine, lavender, cypress, black spruce, peppermint, and three different types of this eucalyptus. So if you are trying to get some natural support for this, you definitely want to make sure you have your diffuser going with this every night. And I remember, actually, I was on vacation with my brother, and he was having really terrible snoring, horrible, horrible snoring. It was, like, loud enough to wake the dead. And I put this in the diffuser, and it was reduced almost immediately. So you can also put this on topically. So this is going to open up your entire... Um, and support and soothe your entire respiratory system. So the passage is up here. Just make sure you don't get it in your eyes. And you could also put it, you know, where you your breathing can get restricted down here for some soothing support. So that is what I want to share with you all today. Um, again, Tashina Lynette, don't forget to give me some comments. Say hi, hello, and please share this with anyone that may need it. Thank you guys so much, and see you later. Bye.